Thank you for tuning in to the show tonight. We'll see you here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central. Well, Dr. Edward Group, thank you so much for joining us once again in the InfoWars studio. Now, we've been talking about the war on women and this full-on assault with all the estrogen mimickers and the plastics and the water, all the pharmaceuticals they're pushing. But this isn't really affecting only women. It's also affecting relationships. Can you tell me exactly what is this doing to our relationships between our men and women? Well, it started, you know, especially heavily about 10 or 15 years ago, and you have to look at the combination of hormone or endocrine disrupting chemicals that we're exposed to on a daily basis. It's happening the same for males as well. I mean, we're seeing low sperm counts, and what it translates to is estrogen dominance, and that's from... Uh, especially with females, all the cosmetic products that they use, the hair care products, because what they're doing is they're smearing all these lotions all over their body one or two times a day, then spraying perfumes, putting on makeup, and those contain estrogen mimickers, and ex it actually enhances the estrogen inside their system. So their estrogen levels go way up here, and their progesterone levels go way down here. High estrogen levels are going to translate into uh, cystic breasts, ovarian problems, endometrial problems, uh, women hormonal problems, mood swings, uh, menstrual cycles altered, uh, fatigue, brain fog, I mean the list goes on and on including hypothyroidism and everything else. So what's happening is we're seeing an increase in divorce rates, we're seeing an increase in relationship problems and if you look at the root cause of that you can trace it back to iodine deficiency and you can trace it back to all these artificial hormones and the effects that these estrogen mimickers are having also besides personal care products you have the high levels of pesticides in water roundup atrazine you have the plastics the bpa which are in microwave foods. If you're using your microwave, you're going to be exposed to them because most people cook with plastic containers. Any type of canned food, anything that's in plastic or lined with, even metal cans are all lined with BPA coatings in them. So all of these things are going to disrupt the hormone patterns and that's leading to couples not getting along, either the loss of libido in the male, the loss of libido in the female, the low testosterone levels in males, the low testosterone levels in females. I mean, all of these hormones and these glands are becoming altered because of the environmental toxins that we're exposing ourselves to on a daily basis. So the solution is that you need to first of all recognize these toxic compounds in your diet, in the foods that you're eating, in the beverages that you're drinking, any beverage that you're putting in your body that's in an aluminum can, probably it has some BPA in it. The water that you're drinking is very important because there's so much estrogen in water now because of so many women on birth control pills mm -hmm. that 85% of the estrogen gets urinated out and it goes back into the water supply and then everybody drinks it including males and males are also getting um, female breasts and they're getting excess weight gain and this feminization of males is going on and the masculinization of females because the hormones end up being a little bit different so what I recommend is people do their research and try to avoid any of the tap water, switch over to organic foods, switch over to natural cosmetics that don't have these endocrine disrupting chemicals inside of them, start detoxifying their body on a regular basis, and look at products that can naturally regulate the hormonal balance or products that will teach the body how to regulate their its own hormones because everybody has a self-healing mechanism inside themselves so really when you look at when anything's wrong with the body you try to look at the root cause and figure out what's causing those problems in this case it's the estrogen mimickers 
get a list of those, look online, eliminate those from your diet, and then help the body by using natural substances so the body can naturally balance out the relationship between the different hormones, such as growth hormone, testosterone, DHEA, melatonin, serotonin, things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, and I know you spent a lot of time in the lab working on super male vitality, and we have a lot of women that actually said that they took the super male and had a little bit of it, it affected me actually um, and you kind of heard the call and so you spent a little time in the lab working on something for the women well because we just had you know the relationship and the couples whether you're in a relationship or not you know everybody's having hormonal issues I mean even the children now is as little as three or four are having hormonal issues but we had such good success with super male vitality that the women kept calling our office saying, hey, what about me? You know, all of a sudden my husband is walking around like a caveman and, you know, his libido's gone up, his energy level's gone up, he's starting to lose that extra weight, he's confident in himself again. What do you have for us? You know, I want something too. I mean, this isn't fair. So we spent some time in the lab and kind of reformulated the product a little bit to let it focus more on women and came out with the newest product, which is super female vitality. So now the husband and the wife or, you know, in a relationship or even single individuals can use the individual product to help stabilize and enhance their life in certain ways. In other words, you know, it might increase their libido or it might give them that extra spark in the bedroom or it might decrease the symptoms that you may be having to where you can get along better, you can talk better. Because a lot of times when your hormones are out, you might go through periods of rage and anger and mood swings. So by balancing the hormones naturally, not synthetically when people go in and get hormone shots or some sort of synthetic hormone, we're actually trying to teach the body self-healing mechanism how to come back into balance. So it really creates a synergistic relationship between the male and the female in a relationship environment or even a boyfriend or a girlfriend or for that matter even if you want to use or balance out something on your own. So it's really a perfect fit for a male to use super male vitality or a female to use super female vitality especially since we're exposed to all these endocrine disrupting chemicals and all these estrogen mimickers in our environment. And so what sets this apart from all of the other female vitality products out on the market? Well, you know, there's a lot of male vitality products on the market. Yeah. It's like the, and the, the big push right now by the pharmaceutical companies is the low T centers everywhere, the, testosterone, the artificial testosterone, the artificial hormones, the hormone replacement therapy really because they know, and through the testing of all the males and all the females, they're seeing the low sperm count, they're seeing the infertility. This is another thing in couples, which how many couples do you know now that have been trying to get pregnant and haven't been able to get pregnant? And so what do they do? They send them to fertility clinics and then inject them and do IVF and everything else instead of addressing the root cause of the problem, which is both of their hormones are out of whack. The male can't produce enough sperm. The sperm average sperm count has gone down 50% in males. As a matter of fact, a lot of times with infertility, it's the male and not the female mm -hmm. that is the problem. So all these companies are trying to come out with these products that will enhance your sperm and do all this. But when you really trace it back, and you call these companies and you ask them where they're getting their herbs from, a lot of them are getting herbs from China or India or some contaminated area and they're not high strength or they're not strong enough to give you a therapeutic uh, dose to where it's actually gonna make a difference in the body. And they sell these things for extremely high prices, usually $100, $200, $300 like that. So what I wanted to do was find the best sources of herbs that we know that have the highest strength and put them all together in a vegetable glycerin base in unison through a proprietary extraction technique. We don't extract, we don't use alcohol at all because alcohol in itself is an endocrine disruptor and put these in a system, use a system that's designed to actually bond all these herbs together 
to create a high potency formula that's probably five to 10, maybe even 20 times stronger than anybody else would have as far as taking a product to support the body's normal functioning and hormonal balance. So I guess the, the cost cutting is one of the reasons why companies would want to go with a subpar product, but why do, you, why do you think they would choose to go with a synthetic molecule than rather using something all natural? Well, there's more money in it and they can charge the insurance carriers. So, uh, you know, anything that's pushed into, that's why, you know, they'll have natural products that come out that are, work really good and then the pharmaceutical companies will take it and patent it and then they'll try to resist or suppress the natural components. So a lot of these, the testosterone and the artificial hormones and the estrogen, look at birth control pills. They're trying to put young girls on birth control pills now at 13, 14, and 15. Well, what that does is it increases their estrogen even more. It increases their, can their cancer rates even more. So what they're trying to do is create, and they can actually sell them the product and get them sick at the same time. Right now, they're doing the same thing for males with testosterone and growth hormone because a male's testosterone and hor growth hormone and DHEA level starts to decline after the age of 28. So they find what's going on in the problem and then they create a system to sell you money behind it and that's what the HRT is or the hormone replacement therapy is. Then what happens is you have a bunch of natural companies that want to jump on the bandwagon and it's all about money, the same thing. There's very few companies out there that want to do it the right way because it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of devotion to research and development and it takes a lot of money to do a good really consistent product with testing and everything else. So what these companies will do is they'll just go online and look at 10 different supplements that are geared towards female vitality or libido and they'll just take the top two herbs of each one of them and say okay well that'll probably work since all those other companies are doing it. They put them in to their formula and then they label it something and when they go to purchase the herbs they look at 20 different suppliers and they pick the cheapest one because it's all about money. Well, if you pick the cheapest one, that, that herb might have sat in a warehouse for 10 years at 200 degrees and even though you get the powder in your hands and it says this is the herb, maca root or whatever, it might have zero constituents or the active ingredients left in it. They're all oxidized out so it's not any good anymore. So we have to look for the best ones, test them, make sure that they're clean, and then they're fresh, they have the constituents, and then bond them in a way they're not going to lose their potency. So I'm really excited to see the results that I have in my own life. So tell us where we can go to get our hands on the new Super Female Vitality. Well, right now at InfoWarsLife.com, there's a limited supply available, so I highly recommend everybody go on as soon as possible and purchase some for themselves. Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. Celebrate the spirit of 1776 with the George Washington brass belt buckle or this incredibly sharp looking 1776 hat. Badass. And be sure to check out the new arrivals at InfoWars Life, where you can prepare your body to perform at peak levels with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine, Super Male Vitality, and Fluoride Shield. And wake up, America. Immune Support Blend is the healthy choice for the gourmet coffee lover. So get incredibly high-quality, freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.